Hey there, this is going to be a short video review of Savage's LRP. This is a 260 Remington. Okay, the first thing I'll say about this rifle is that it shoots very well for a factory gun. Uh, I've had probably 700 rounds down the tube now. Every bullet I've ever tried in it has shot very well. I think the worst groups have been three quarters to a minute for five shots. So uh, it's just a really good shooter. Uh, lately, I've been shooting the 130 AR hybrids from Berger through it, and they're averaging in in the threes and fours for three shot groups pretty easily. Uh, it's also one of the fastest barrels I've ever had for a 260 Remington. This is a 26 inch barrel, it's still the factory tube, and I get over 3,000 feet a second with the 130 hybrids. I also got 2850 out of the 140 hybrids, 140 A maxes, 140 SMKs, where normally I would get 2800 feet a second. So. It's been a pretty fast barrel. Okay, it's a 26 inch tube. It's a pretty heavy taper. Uh, I believe it's uh, almost an inch at the muzzle. It's a pretty heavy gun. It's 15 and a half pounds, completely loaded with a night force sitting on it, bipod, everything. So I don't know if I'd recommend it if you want to sling it up and carry it around hunting. But as a tactical rifle or a target rifle or something that you're going to carry in a gun pack to go out and do some long range hunting, it's a pretty sweet rifle. Uh, there's no muzzle break on this one. I've left it just open muzzle, but it's a sweet heart to shoot. Because of that weight, uh, just about anybody can handle shooting this rifle. Okay, some of the highlights with it are uh, the Savage Target Accu Trigger. This one can be adjusted down into the ounces, and it's got a, a red uh, shoe here that you can see. I've got it set at two pounds. Works really well at that weight range. Has an oversized bolt knob to manipulate the bolt with gloves on. Works very well. Uh, when I lay down to shoot here in a minute, I'll show you, you can also shoot with gloves on. It has a very generous trigger guard. Uh, I like the gun. It's real easy to operate. I haven't had any trouble with it mechanically. Uh, it has the HS Precision stock on it. This has the full aluminum bedding block. There are two models of stocks available for this one. This one is the HS Precision without the vertical pistol grip, and it has a slimmer grip on it, much like the sporter stocks you can get. I put a defensive edge Kydex cheek piece on it so I can get a proper cheek weld behind the scope. This is a Night Force 5.5 to 22 NXS. It's sitting on a 20 minute Night Force rail. And these are extreme hardcore tactical recon rings. These are six screw rings with the built in bubble level. Okay, it has a detachable magazine. Magazine will hold three rounds, plus you can put one in the tube. Uh, there are some aftermarket options available for this rifle now that weren't available when I bought it. I know uh, PT&G makes a bottom metal for this that'll accept 10 round AI mags. The magazine's been spotless. I haven't had any trouble with it at all. Not only that, but you can, you know, they actually thought it out a little bit. You can load the rounds in the magazine to touch the rifling in the barrel with 140 hybrids even. So uh, I wish all manufacturers would do that. All right, before I lay down, fire a few groups out of this. I'd like to remind you to uh, subscribe to PanhandlePrecision.com. I'll have a written, complete, comprehensive review on this rifle written up for the website. Within a couple of weeks, they're returning from SHOT Show. Let's go ahead and start shooting, because, boy, it's 10 degrees out here right now, and I'm ready to go back in the house. Alright guys, that's some cold weather accuracy testing for the Savage LRP 260 Remington. This was four three shot groups from 100 yards. Uh, the bullet is a Berger 130 AR Hybrid. It's sitting on top of 44 grains H4350 in Remington brass. It gives me about 3,020 feet per second. 
All right, well, I think that turned out pretty well. There's some pretty good groups at 100 yards. It's pretty uh, representative of what I've been getting from the Burger 130AR hybrids. Be sure to subscribe to PanelPrecision.com. I'm going to have a full comprehensive review done on this rifle pretty soon. Thanks for watching.